My name's Dan, and I'm a Digico application specialist. We're going to have a look today at the SD Ranger consoles and the physical rack connections that we provide. In the world before digital consoles, interfacing with external systems was relatively simple. Analog connections, either balanced or unbalanced, XLR sockets, jack plugs, and the only thing you had to worry about was a bit of hum. Today, things can be a little more complicated. And with the additional problems of clocking and multiple digital formats to interface to, it's essential that the right product sits at the center of your system. Digico consoles have always been well placed to interface as the hub of your system, and the SD consoles are no exception. Every console package, that's a console surface with a stage rack, provides a comprehensive set of interfacing options. Starting with the surface itself, each SD console includes a good selection of local inputs and outputs. This includes analog mic line inputs with phantom power, analog outputs, AES ins and outs, MIDI in, out and through, the standard single signal connections found on most consoles. In addition to these single source connections, there are multi-channel digital connections for our remote stage racks. Digico currently use three types of connections for stage racks. On the SD11 and SD9, you'll find CAT5 connections. This bi-directional, high-channel count digital interface connects directly to our D-Rack stage rack, a simple point-to-point -point connection. If the D-Rack needs to be shared between consoles or converted into MADI for use with one of the other SD consoles, the Digico Solutions Little Red and Little Blue Boxes provides alternative interfacing options. All SD consoles include at least one MADI port that allows interfacing to any other MADI connected stage rack, as well as third party MADI enabled devices. These are ideal for connecting to recording devices like the Digico UB MADI interface, quick and easy recording and playback on most USB 2 enabled computers. Most SD consoles also include the option of fiber optics for rack interfacing. This redundant, ultra-high capacity, high-speed connection caters for hundreds of inputs and outputs at both 48K and 96K sampling rates. Connect up to five redundant consoles and 14 racks together on each fiber loop. Perfect for large touring and installed systems. But what about the racks themselves? The D-Rack is the Cat5 connected stage rack and is fitted with 32 high-quality mic amps and eight analog line level outputs. There's also an expansion slot, which can be fitted with either an additional analog output card or an eight-channel AES output card. Alternatively, replace all of the outputs with a single 16-channel Avium output option, perfect for giving monitor mix control back to the musicians. This is extremely popular in the house of worship market. The SD rack is the largest of the modular Digico stage racks and provides up to 56 channels of simultaneous inputs and outputs. There's a range of card options available, analog inputs and outputs, AES cards, and digital cards that provide alternative interfacing for wider systems. For broadcasters, an AES card with BNC connectivity, an ADAT light pipe card, an AES42 input option that allows remote control of AES42 mic functions, Avium, Dante, HDSDI, a huge selection of I.O. catering for every possible scenario. The same selection of I.O. cards also work with the two smaller SD rack frames, the mini SD rack, which takes four cards, and the nano rack, which takes two of the SD cards. On a digital optical loop system, the use of multiple stage racks fitted with any of the SD cards allows for flexible custom distributed audio systems to be built, providing the right interfacing options exactly where you need them. So get yourself connected. Put a Digico SD console at the heart of your system.